Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to make few changes to our Laravel e-commerce website. So I've just noted them down over here. So if you're not making these changes and leaving it like how we have made it in the existing videos, that is absolutely fine. But this is just an enhanced version of it. So let's start with it. So first you can see here card dev reload. So I'll just show you what that means. So once you go to your card and we'll just add another product over here. And let me say, yeah. Add to cart. Okay. So here, when I just delete one item, so when I click on remove, you will notice that the whole page will reload after a few seconds over here. So just when I click remove, so you can see the page is reloading over here and this sweet alert is gone without uh, my acknowledgement. When we click the remove button, the page is reloading over here which makes this process a little bit lagging on our website. So when I click remove, the whole thing is getting reloaded over here, the whole website. So you can see over here, so it's reloading over here. Yeah, so uh, we can just avoid this thing and we'll just reload this div over here and we will call the load cart function in our JS file. So let's see how we are going to do that. So I'll just add few products in my cart. Say add to cart. And yeah, so we got two products in our cart. Now we'll go back to our code. And here inside your public folder, you have frontend JS, and here you have custom.js. So here you have the delete cart item click function or here. So here you can see once the uh, cart item has been deleted, we are just reloading that page. So we'll just comment this and we will reload only that particular div. So we'll go to the cart page first. So inside your resources, views, frontend, cart blade PHP. Yeah, here. So here uh, outside this if condition, I'm just going to give inside this card over here. Let me say my cart or you can say cart items just make sure it's not uh, repeating in some other div so we have only one uh, cart items in the class so these things are uh, php variables so this will not count so we'll just take this thing copy that and here we are just going to use the load function so just say dollar open close and here you have to paste your selector so paste your class name and say dot load function and inside this you just have to say location dot href uh, plus but then double quotes first give a space over here and then your selector dot cart items okay and add a semicolon over here so make sure you are giving this space over here else your uh, this div will not reload so now let us just test this save and we'll go to our browser and go to your cart and here when i just remove this you can see that part is reloaded over there behind i click ok that part is gone so the second product is deleted so now when i click on the first product this will not delete over here yeah so uh, this is because the document did not reload over here so it is searching for reload so for this we have a solution so you have this dot click right so we have to just substitute that with jq on so just type jq on and here uh, just remove this closing one and comment this out so we will be using the on function now so in this selector you just type document over here document and on this events you can see here right so first here we'll give the event so that is the click event and your selector inside this. So just copy your selector and with a dot, just paste your class name over here. So now uh, even without reloading the page, your other products also will delete over here. So we'll just go to category and add a product. Okay, and here you can see 
so when I click on remove okay it didn't work let me just clear cache so just control shift R and now click on remove okay so there's something wrong we'll just inspect and check okay so we had to pass that uh, event in that function so you can see this e over here right so just that same thing you have to pass it over here yeah and refresh so now there are no errors so when you click on remove so that thing is removed okay and one thing to notice our cart count is not reducing so we'll just call that function and before that we'll just check this thing so when i click on remove and yes it is reloading so without the page reload and this thing you can see it is still uh, two so when you reload the page that count is going to change so we'll just add that function so if you are following from the previous videos you will remember that we had created a function over here called yeah load cart and we had called that on the page reload yeah so this function we just have to call it inside our uh, delete cart item function so once the cart is deleted you can just reload the cart count so similarly even for the wish list we are going to do so instead of reloading the whole thing we are just going to copy and paste and instead of cart items let us change that class to wish list items and copy that and go to your wish list file so here it is and inside this card you can just paste it over here okay and we'll just close the card blade now and here we need to load the wish list so like how we have loaded the cart over here so when you're removing an item from the wish list we will call that function yeah just copy and paste so we'll just test this also go back to your wish list and when you say remove so if you notice this thing became zero over here and this thing has been reloaded okay so uh, we did not change this thing for the wish list right so this click so when you have two products in that this will not work so i'll just show you go back and say add to wish list okay done go for the second product and add to wish list so here when i say remove first product is removed and when you click the second so it's not going to remove so we just have to add that jq on we have it over here so just copy that and paste just change the selector yeah now you can just test that we'll go back and add another product add to wish list okay and now when i say remove first product removed and yeah so it's working we'll go back to our list over here so we had the card div reload and wish list div reload and one more thing guys when you have this thing over here i'll just add and show you add to cart okay go to your cart page and here you can see the price right so when you increment this thing the whole website is being loaded so when you increment once again so you can see the whole website is being loaded over here so we'll just change that same thing so we'll just reload this div so you have that thing over here change quantity and we have to substitute it with the check you on copy and paste change the selector paste and copy that and paste it over here 
so this time it's going to be the cart div right so yeah the same thing we can use it as it is in the outer div okay yeah so everything is inside this div so you can use that same thing so you have it over here yeah and the load guard function so that will not affect so you don't have to call that paste remove this and stop the reload yeah and one more thing guys so when you increment that so that increment is happening with the help of this increment button and decrement button okay so this thing will not work because we are not reloading the whole page and we are just reloading one div so this thing will stop working once you have incremented once so i'll just show you refresh and so now i'll just make it to four and you will notice this becoming four over here okay so it has become four but now once again when you try to increment that is not going to work so that same thing for this also we have to give on just make that thing yeah copy and paste copy that and paste save and now it should work perfectly then a decrement total price is decremented and again yeah so it's working good and now we'll see what's next in our list so we have wait after place order so if you remember once we are placing the order it was directly getting redirected to the my orders page so now what we are going to do is uh, we will show the user a message that your order has been placed and we will wait for the user to click ok so once the user has clicked on the ok button only then we are going to redirect him to the my orders page so let me say proceed to checkout so now when i click on this pay with reserve pay over here so i will just place the order over here and say pay and here order placed successfully but it is automatically redirected to the my orders page so we will just wait over there until the user clicks on the ok button over there so our cart will be cleared now because we have placed the order so that thing we are just going to do it over here so we'll go back to our checkout.js and here in our razor pay script here when you have the success function so we are just changing the href to my orders so here we want to wait for the user to click on the ok button only then we want to redirect so for that we'll just go to the sweet alert website so just search for sweet alert and here it is sweet alert so when you just scroll down a little bit you will see it over here yeah so this thing and you have this when you click on the ok button then you will get the next thing inside this so this then function you can see right that thing we are going to use so you just have to add the then after this sweet alert so we have this sweet alert over here so just add the then function in that you can also give it to the next line yeah and here we are not going to show any sweet alert instead we are just going to redirect the user so this line this control x and paste it here save and now let us see so the same thing we have to do with paypal also so just copy this and the paypal was inside the blade file itself so you have the checkout and here it is paste yeah so now let us just test it go and refresh add a product say add to cart go to your cart and proceed to checkout so here the paypal buttons have not loaded so I'll just check why Okay, we have not removed this semicolon so that must be the error i guess 
So now let us just check. Go and refresh. And yeah. So now I'll just click on pay with Razor Pay. And UPI. So we'll just wait for the payment to process. And here it is, order placed successfully. And you can see the page is not uh, automatically redirecting. So when I click this OK button, only then it will redirect to the My Orders page. So now let me click on OK. And yeah, so it is redirected to the My Orders page. So now let us check what's there in the list. So lastly, we have this admin view orders. So we had made a small mistake in my previous video. So I'll just log in and show you my admin. And we will also be adding some space over here in the login and register form also. So I'll just quickly do that. Close it and inside your auth folder you have login blade. And this container you can see right, just say margin top three or five, whatever. How much space you require you can just give that same thing with the register margin top five and we will verify that but before that we we'll just check with this orders and when you click on view order so you can see we are just uh, redirected to the user layout so that thing we have to just change it over here in your admin orders view so we have this layouts front right. We had to change it to layouts admin. Just copy that and paste. Okay. Refresh. Yeah. And this thing is done. So I'll just log out. And the login and register page we have given the margin. Yeah. So this was the number three, login and register page. Okay, looks good. So that's it in this video guys. We have made all the changes in our e-commerce website. So in the next video, we will be seeing how to make the search bar in our Laravel e-commerce. So thank you for watching this video guys. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.